So Apple is set to announce iOS 17 in just three months. And ahead of that announcement, a new rumor today claims that iOS 17 and iPad OS 17 will no longer support a handful of older Apple devices. Most notably, this rumor alleges that the iPhone 10 will lose support. And I know that's kind of sad. Now, the rumor came from an anonymous user on Twitter who has accurately reported details about Apple software updates in the past. And according to this user, iOS 17 and iPad OS 17 will drop the support for the following devices. We've got the iPhone 8, the 8 Plus, the 10, the iPad 5th generation, the 9.7 inch iPad Pro 1st gen, and the 12.9 inch iPad Pro 1st gen. Now, this news comes after iOS 16 last year also dropped support for a number of devices, including the 6S, the 6S Plus, the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, and the 1st gen iPhone SE. Now, honestly, I was a little bit sad when they dropped support for the iPhone 7 because I still think it's a decent phone. I mean, the battery life on it's not the greatest anymore, but it is what it is. Now, I've also listed five features we could finally see in iOS 17, such as a built-in split screen option for iPhones, more customization options for lock screen, alternative app stores, improvements to Siri and AI, and of course, camera enhancements. Now, we're definitely going to keep you guys updated on all things iOS 17. And lastly, in case you missed our unboxing on the new yellow iPhone 14 series, I'd actually like to pull that up for you because, well, the phone is awesome. Now, this is the base model iPhone 14. I also went with the 128 gigabyte option because I truly believe that's enough storage for most people. It's actually been pretty hard for me to fill up a 128 gigabyte iPhone, even with recording lots of videos and taking tons of pictures. I just wanted to point that out. Okay, also, if you're wondering if there are any significant upgrades to the yellow version, there is not. It's basically just an additional color that Apple decided to add to the list. You know, last year, the iPhone 13 had the same thing with a green color release. I didn't pick that one up, but we did get this yellow iPhone 14. Okay, now the time has come for the unboxing. Let's get these little tabs off and, uh, yep, dang there it is. Okay, now I'm going to hold it up to the camera for you guys so you can see it in a few different angles. But I got to tell you, this iPhone looks super fresh, and I mean that. I'm actually going to grab my iPhone 14 in red so we could do a little bit of a color comparison. But yeah, I got to say, I'm definitely digging the uh, yellow for sure. It's also a bit of a warm yellow, so it's not super bright or super dark, and I really like that. And yes, let me repeat that. I really like the yellow color here. Okay, uh, next, let's get this iPhone started up so we can move on. And to save some time, I'm going to skip through the startup screen. And the first thing I would like to do... Of course, before we get more into this, we would like to recommend you guys check out the Ignition Poker app. If you're someone who likes to take down massive pots while sitting on the couch watching Netflix, this is hands down one of the best poker apps to try out. Now, the cool thing is they offer both free and real money games. They've also got million dollar payout tournaments to buy into all throughout the month. Ignition has also built a solid reputation for fair play, quick payouts, and of course, host some of the softest competition online. If you would like to start stacking your chips and dips, we will have some resource links below in the description for how you can get started. It's changed the wallpaper since it does not come with a pre-installed wallpaper, which I think it definitely should have in yellow. So let's go find one. Now, bear with me because it's probably going to take me a minute to find it, but I know there's one in here somewhere. While I'm doing that, I really got to say once again, I love the color. Uh, I think this yellow looks super nice. This is actually my first yellow iPhone ever, and I know Apple has released one way back in the past with the 10R. I don't know if they've done any other yellow iPhones since then, but um, I know the 10R in yellow was a lot darker than this, looked pretty ugly, honestly. But okay, lastly, what I would actually like to do is, you know, how I usually do this, run some video and gaming on it so you guys could see it in action. But my initial impressions are that it's pretty darn awesome. Of course, as you're watching the rest of this, you can check out some great resources for the yellow iPhone 14 directly below in the description. For now, let's run it.
killed blindly. Scar the lands of England. Lands they will never defend. Never love. The time has come to speak to them in a language they will understand.